If you heard that Rohan encounter a Monster Zinc, Kitty has to go alternate ending was very depressing enough. Well, I just got an encounter about another Monster Zinc scene where Mike and Sully were having a conversation. They were having a talk about booze and trouble, but Mike didn't believe what Sully said. So he turned around and Sully left. That was kind of rude and sad. I'm Jason Lewis from Jason Lewis and the New York Heroes, and I will tell you the discovery about this scene of Solly's leaving deleted cut. It was a beautiful day afternoon at my apartment. I was on a computer to watch some of those YouTube videos until I got a Google email notification. So I turned on the notification, and this must be the letter from Pixar. It says, Dear biggest Pixar fan from America, I found of the extended depressing scene of Monsters Incorporated, where Sully talks to Mike about booze and trouble. We originally added of the argument scene of the film, but we had decided to cut it because it will be too depressing an argument for the audience. So we had to make more or less disturbing and more kid friendly. After you watch this, please do not show to the public, because it will be too depressing to watch the video. Kind regards, the Pixar team. That's kind of strange. So I click on the file and it says, Monsters Inc. Solly's leaving, delete a cut. This will be very depressing. So I download the file and begin to watch the video. The video started when a bottomless snowman knew that the snow cone is gone. So he ran outside to get some more. Mike said to Solly, as you can hear it from the final film. Solly, what about everything we ever worked for? Does that matter? What about Celia? I am never, never gonna see her again. Doesn't that matter? Solly didn't answer to Mike, ignoring him, knowing about he was about to leave the cave. What about me? I'm your pal, I'm, I'm your best friend. Don't I matter? Solly stopped and turned around to Mike. I'm sorry, Mike. I'm sorry we're stuck out here. I didn't mean for this to happen. But Boo's in trouble. I think there might be a way to save her if we can just get down. Before Sully can finish his sentence, Mike was interrupted to have a conversation with him. Enough of your excuses, Sully. All you care about is protect the child. Instead of focus on our job so you could become a top scarer. I'm sorry, Mike. All I wanted is to take the back home so it wouldn't happen again. Besides, we don't want to get fired. We already got fired thanks to Mr. Waternoose. I can't believe he betrayed us this whole time. I thought he was our good manager of Monsters Inc. If that kid never shows up in our world, none of this wouldn't happen. But no, my life is gone because of that stupid kid. But Mike, we had to go back to Monster World, so we could save Boo before it's too late. Just, uh, Sully, I ought to be left alone with the Bondable Snowman for now. What the heck? Why will Mike say something to Sully? That was kind of rude and disrespect to him. Good thing Sully decided to leave and crying supping as if John Goodman is crying and supping. Mike turned around and noticed that Sully had disappeared. Mike was scared and sad that Sully had finally gone and he was about to cry. Then the video ended. I was so demonetized that I saw Mike is having an argument with Sully, just like Monsters University, and I wasn't even crying after all. So I delete a file so I continue watching our video. If you guys find any of those D stuff that has depressing scene in other Disney or Pixar movies, please watch at your own risk.